Hello, I want to introduce you to a book called Church Shift by Sunday Odd Elijah. I'm going to speak to you briefly about Pastor Sunday, and then I'm going to read excerpts from the end of chapter 2 of the book. Sunday Odd Elijah is a Nigerian. He pastors a church in Kiev, Ukraine, and he also travels throughout the world lecturing. Uh, he's a very big name in bringing the teachings of God to the nations. Uh, if you don't recognize your na his name, uh, this is... this. Video is a double blessing for you because you're introduced not only to this book but also to Sunday on Elijah. Uh, I'm going to read to you passages, or I'm sorry, the bullet points from the end of chapter two. Number one, God eagerly awaits the redemption of the nations. Number two, God wants preeminence in all things in every nation. The book goes into detail, so the chapter two it, it covers these things heavily, and this is just a review here. Number three, until the children of the Almighty God act like his representatives on the earth. Nothing will change in our countries. The destiny of our countries is in the hands of the church. It's in the hands of the church. And her willingness to declare the position of God in the society. To declare the position of God in the society. The willingness of the church to declare the position of God in society. Number four, the real focus of every Christian's life and of all our church activities is promoting the kingdom of God in every sphere of our nations. Number five, if the church doesn't start fighting corruption, corruption will keep flourishing in the country. Six, a church that is not focused on discipling nations exchanges its big ambitions for small ones without even realizing it. Disciple nations, Matthew 28, 19. Seven, if you want to use your faith to get a new car or more church members, fine. But I'm using my faith to subdue and change a nation. Sunday Aunt Elijah effectively lived this advice by influencing the nation of Ukraine. You can research the Orange Revolution here on YouTube or on Google. Until my next video, this is the man from Modesto saying pray or be defeated.